Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I'm the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to video two of the wet venting series. In today's video, we're going to talk about piping arrangements for wet venting. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. This video assumes you already have prior knowledge of plumbing code interpretation and sizing of drains and vents. And for those of you new to this topic, no problem, I have two video series, Basic Drainage Waste and Venting and Level 2 Drainage Waste and Venting. In the plumbing code, we have a section dedicated to wet venting, that is, Clause 2521. Now there's a number of different clauses within it, and we're not going to go through them in order. We're going to go through it in a way that is easiest for people to understand. Today's focus is piping arrangement, so we will only look at clauses that deal with the piping arrangement in a wet vented system. We're going to start it off with Clause 2521 1B. A soil waste pipe is permitted to serve as a wet vent, provided the number of wet vented water closets do not exceed 2. This clause is fairly simple. If I have a wet vented system, the maximum amount of water closets I'm allowed to drain through it is 2. Next clause. 2521-1C. Where two water closets are installed, they are connected at the same level by means of a double sanitary T fitting if the vent pipe is vertical and by means of a double Y fitting if the vent pipe is horizontal. This code clause focuses on two different things here. Let's start on the first half. We have two water closets joining into a vertical pipe. In this scenario, we can use a double TY just like in this picture here. I do caution against this though because we can have a bridging effect where sewage from one water closet trap arm can actually travel across the pipe into the other one under a high flow situation. To counteract this effect, we can simply use a double Y fitting with two 45s going into it connecting up to the trap arms just like in this picture. This clause also references joining two water closets into a horizontal piping arrangement. When you do this, you must use a double Y fitting just like I have in this picture here. If you've used a double TY instead in this scenario, you would fail your inspection. So the key takeaway for this clause though, if you want to join in two water closets into your wet vent, that's fine, but only if you use a double fitting. If you decided to join in your water closet with separate TYs or Ys like this picture here, you would fail your inspection. Next clause is 2521 1D. The water closets are installed downstream of all other fixtures. Simply put, the water closets need to be the last or lowest connected fixtures on the whole wet vented system. Doesn't matter if you have one water closet or two, it needs to be at the very end or the very lowest point. So this picture makes this fairly easy to see. We have two water closets joined into our wet vented soil waste stack, and they are the last or lowest connected fixtures. And in this picture here, where we have a wet vented bathroom group, you'll also notice that the water closet is the last or lowest connected fixture in the system. The next clause I want to cover is 2521 1K. The length of a wet vent is not limited. So looking at this bathroom group rough in, this pipe right here is a part of the wet vent. And according to this clause, it can be as long as you want it to be. So the length of that pipe is unlimited. But there are two major considerations that you need to make. Your cleanout location, and you need to maintain proper grade on pipe for the whole length. The last thing I'd like to talk about in this video is the continuous vent. That's this pipe right here. So according to the code definition, continuous vent means a vent pipe that is an extension of a vertical section of branch or fixture drain. Now this is the definition in the code that I would consider to be completely inaccurate. That is not the definition of a continuous vent, that is the definition of something else. So in order to find a proper definition, we need to look all the way back to the 1990 Canadian Plumbing Code, which is a plumbing code no longer in circulation. In it it says, a continuous vent means a vent pipe that serves two or more fixtures and is an extension of a wet vent. To illustrate this, let's look at the bathroom group picture one last time. The highest point of the wet vented system is where the lav sink trap arm connects into the wet vent. Above that is my continuous vent. And for this last example, we've got a small wet vented system with a continuous vent coming off the horizontal piping, and this is partly why I disagree with that definition in the code. And yes, we are totally permitted to do this. And that brings us to the end of this video, but stay tuned for the next one where we cover codes that talk about sizing a basic wet vented system. And until that time, I bid you farewell.